Kia ora, um, TU member, Sandra Gray, the National Secretary, and with me is Megan Morris, who's a, an organiser from Kirikiridoa, but also a health and safety expert. So I've just caught her as she's heading out the door back to Hamilton to ask a few questions about health and safety under COVID so that you all know what's going on. Um, so I guess the first one, from a health and safety perspective, what do our institutions need to do right now, whether or not people are working at home or in the office, what you know? What is it that they've got to do? So at the moment, they need to make sure that they have a plan that is clearly communicated out to all their staff, so that they know what their responsibilities are during the situation, and that they know where to go to ask for help. So who writes the plan? The, the plans are being written at the moment primarily by management, which is you know a bit of an issue for us, but in fairness, a lot of them are reasonably well constructed plans. But it's really important that our members have an opportunity to input and provide some feedback or consultation around it and specifically um, our health and safety reps on the sites. So in terms of that plan, does it have to include issues around wellbeing and workloads? Because that's a really big concern for members at the moment. I yeah, I, I, I think again, in fairness, they're probably more generated around the, the physical aspects mm -hmm. of not, you know, how to manage working in the COVID environment. Um, I don't think they're looking too hard at the workload. Um, so we need to make sure that within ourselves, we're talking to our, our health and safety reps, we're talking to our branch committees, our branch presidents, to make sure that we're managing our workloads and our wellbeing, because I don't think we can rely on the employers. Okay, so we have a responsibility as well as TU, as members, together we need to make sure workloads issues are notified, yeah. that people are taking those seriously, yeah. and that, that, that is something we can yeah. do together. Yeah, because um, you can't... You know, your employer, yeah, there's a million, you know, like yourself, there's a million balls in the air at any one point in time. So it's up to us to make sure that we are clearly telling our managers that uh, workloads are too high, that they're struggling for whatever reason, and that they, they need to push back so that their manager is aware that there's a problem. They don't know there's a problem, they don't know they have to fix it. So, in terms of physical, um, you know, issues around your body and working from home, um, you know, our employers need to take that seriously. Yeah. So. Again, um, you know, ideally at home we would have a beautifully set up ergonomic arrangement. The reality is not likely to be like that. Chairs are probably the big one for people because yeah. we're all working at you know dining tables and um, various uh, arrangements on the couch, whatever works. Um, so chairs and your posture is the big one. So um, ha if you're able to have a conversation with your manager about either a getting a second chair, that would be perfect. But um, even being able to take the chair you have at work home, yeah. that would probably go a long way. Um, but yeah, taking breaks, yeah, you know, not sitting at your desk for five hours doing Zoom meetings one after the other. The things we should do it in our offices anyway. Yeah. So when we go on to campuses, masks, um, sanitizers, social distancing, yeah. all those practices apply to us? Absolutely, yeah, really important that you look after yourself because of the fact that you're interacting on a campus situation with, you know, it could literally be up to 100, 150 students in a class at one point in time, the Lord knows where they will be. So you need to make sure you protect yourself so that when you go home, you know, you and your family keep safe. So there it is, look after yourselves, yeah. look after your whanau, look after your well-being. You're no good to anyone if you don't do it, by the yeah. way. So, you know, that's the message. And we've got lots of resources on our website at tu.ac.nz. So head there, head to our Afi Atu Afi Mai. You know, very simple page saying, look after yourself, ask for help if you need it, but mm -hmm. offer help. Yeah. We're all in this together. We will get through it. We want you to, you know, make sure you know what's right in the health and safety space. So thanks, Megan, for joining me.